Today what I'm going to show you is how to clean silver. You can clean all kinds of things to include you have some coins here, got some old silver rings that I've found and this is part of a silver spoon that was flattened out. Now this is what you need. You need some baking soda, just regular baking soda. Now, this is a big container because I use it for electrolysis. I also use it to buffer the pH in my ponds and for this as well. This is just baking soda here in this container. You need your silver, you need some Reynolds wrap or aluminum foil. It's good to have something like this so you can get the things out of the hot water which is what I'm going to show you next. You need a pan of some sort. I'm just going to use this little baking pan thingy here. And some aluminum foil. I just folded it up a few times and I laid it in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this full of water. Then I'm going to heat it up to boiling and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. You don't really need too much. That's probably enough. Now they say you can actually use... Hold on. They say that you can actually use cold water as well, but I have found that if you use really hot water, it works much faster. So let's let that heat up and we'll get back to you in a minute. And one quick note for you kitchen idiots. This is baking soda. It's a big box or a big container like that. This is baking powder. They're two different things. You don't want to use baking powder. At least I don't think you do. I don't believe it will work. But this is really cheap. Like this big container here costs like, you know, five or six bucks. That's pretty expensive. I, it's totally different too, so don't use that. So now it's good and hot, it's almost boiling, so I turned it down a little bit. The first thing we're going to do, as you can see the aluminum foils in here, it's got water on top, that's good. We're going to take some of this baking soda, take a pinch, I'm going to lay it on top of the aluminum foil like that. You see it's kind of dissolving. Now this silver actually reacts to the aluminum foil, so aluminum foil will kind of dissolve over time. So you have to, that's why I have such a big piece in here. This is just a uh, a silver round that I have, like 1995 or something like that. So let's see what it does. Okay, we're gonna drop it on. Bink. Let it sit. Take a little extra soda and put it on top, and it should start to bubble and stuff, and it'll kind of turn black. And that's the sulfur coming off of the coin. Let's we'll let that sit a couple minutes. Alright, let's go ahead and flip it over. It's not really turning very black though, is it? Might be because it's just not a lot of corrosion on here. Okay, let that side work for a minute. Yeah, you can see the black coming right off of that. Should turn this down so you can see it. And I can smell the sulfur in the uh, house now. Alright, let's take it out. I'm going to take it over here to, this is just plain water, just cool it down a little bit so I can touch it, see what we have. Oh, that's really shiny there. I'm going to rub some of that stuff off. All right, so it did shine up a lot. See, you've got a little bit of black on there still, but it's much, much shinier than it was. Look how shiny that side is. This side is a lot more shiny too, but not quite as much. Still got a little bit of black stuff on there. Let's put it back on and see what happens. I'm going to turn the heat back on. Alright, so I just took it back out of the water. Let me show you what it looks like. I'll set it down. Look how much more shiny that is now. Now, I haven't rubbed this at all. So there won't be any scratch marks or anything like that on there. Cool, huh? 